I, I really want to go big in again. Like those guys. Like, Same. That was sick. Scottish guys, uh, you know, amazing, amazing community. Food was, it was good. Was lovely community was good. Weather yeah. was calm. And uh, the, you know, just the Airbnb quality, was calm. the quality of drinks were really good. I don't drink, but I got. No, a couple, no, no, I, I, got I don't a mean that kind of, of drinks. You know what I mean? The one and only Iron Brew. Oh, uh, class the, Iron Brew. That, that was actually the first drink I had when I got there. Same. <laughs> like, I, I like I played Wildo, uh, first to ten for a bottle of Iron Brew. And I want a bottle of Iron Brew from a Scottish person. So I feel like I've achieved my uh, my goals in life. Anyway, Eternal Dragon playing just so Tuna now. Yeah, Dragon's Dragon. got really patient play style, so it's gonna be very interesting to see how Tuna adapts. Nice. It is weird, like you said, they both have polarizing play styles. Like Justice Soul Tuna is a bit more I wouldn't say buttony, but he does have a lot of crazy setups and a crazy playstyle compared to, as you said, Eternal Dragon yeah. being reserved and being patient as well. Like with punishing a lot. Just taking his poke damage here and there. Thing, a character you don't really see represented as well as Lars. Yeah. Aside from uh, you know, Amish King and Tell Dragon, I can't really think of many other people in the UK. Uh, I guess the truth in Ireland. If he still plays. If he still plays. But he's in, his thing is incredible. Yeah, he destroyed me at Versus Fight in 2017. Um, hopefully it should be, but I, a lot of the games from, from that stage of loser's bracket were on stream earlier, so I can't promise it. Uh, they were asking about that diversity. Ooh. Ooh. Rage Drive killing, and he actually could have followed up there if he didn't kill. Going for the Kempo backstep in the start of the round. Yeah. Trying to avoid moves. Yeah. So Feng's not really oh. rated, but he does have a lot of tools. So he it's, it's kind of hard to gauge when to use them because of the plethora that he has. It's like, I'm a Yoshi player. I have so many moves, but they're pretty situational. Same with Feng. Yeah, you got to be really aware of what, what to use when. And decision making at that point becomes a lot more difficult. No break on one plus two. Gonna Still get alive. low. Oh, goes for the mid actually, and that actually launches as well. Someone who's been listening to Jihad saying, go for the mid. <laughs> mid, bro, mid. See, but the one time I said low. I was wondering he's got, if he was going to use Ganryu, because like, when he played me last uh, last monthly, he used Ganryu the first game. Is that no? Oh, because from what I know, he's a Feng and a Brian player, and he uses Mitsurugi in Soul Calibur. Yes. Pretty solid Mitsurugi player as well. Justice Old Tuna getting the poke damage early on here. Oh, what the? Wait, whoa, 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 whoa. Why did that happen? Someone clip that, please. Save the replay afterwards. <laughs> nice, Ooh, gets him in, in the, back. the back. But doesn't get the actual counter hit animation into the Steps throw. In him. Keep the receipt, as Aris would say. Good punish there, wow. Oh, gets, gets in the oh, back. Oh, 4 back. No, drops it. Okay, gets it anyway. That was a lot of spaghetti on the floor. Love me some spaghetti Tekken. Ooh, nice. Arc Blast. Him. That's the, that's the bait, a B Tech Electric. <laughs> yeah, basically. Throw break there. Ooh, what a sidestep. Doesn't get too much for it. Punish that, nice. No, no duck, duck there. Oh my god. Gets the weave. No, doesn't actually get the weave. Whoa! Nice break! Break on the last flip throw. I was going to say demon flip, but he's not a demon. He, he tried to back Kempo to that low, but Justice Soltuna now one run away from taking a game back. Yeah, it's like a w reverse sweep here from Justice Soltuna. Yeah, a little bit, yeah. Looking a bit more comfortable in the matchup here. Arc Blast, Again. look at the timing on Again, that. Again, using Arc Blast to beat the same move. Nice. No, again, hit. no duck. He's got a duck. That move is so good, our boys. He does have a mid option, though, if you do duck it. Yeah. Obviously, the mid option isn't as rewarding. Plus range. Nice. Strings. Just as Soltuna has rage. He's going to get rage drive. Nice duck there from Eternal Dragon. Second hit. Just That's down jab. Nice. Down jab. Good interrupt. Got to be careful, but it worked this time. Arc blast blocked. Eternal Dragon going for a lot of those jab punish into the back turn mix up but then he's he's looking for that low isn't he he's waiting for the sweep oh no converting much from from the, the wall bounce. bounce yeah oh start of the 10 string huge whiffs here from justice solchina but nice back one Bro, no counter hit though oh Big could whip. actually commit it 
steps on him. <laughs> I mean, they've, they've been stepping on each other a lot, which is, uh, I mean, if that's what we're into. A bit painful though, isn't it? Depends who's stepping on you, I guess. Well, if it's Brian thing, enjoys it, so you know. Well, if this thing, he's quite big and beefy, isn't he? He probably nice. weighs a lot, so if he steps on, he's gonna hurt. Isn't he's, it? Yeah, he's a bit beefy, yeah. But we're going to the best stage in the game now. Um, really good stage. Uh, you now we've got balcony break. Also, the snow castle mode on this stage is really good. Get it on PC. Um, the music's really good. Oh, it's your stage. That's why. Yeah. <laughs> it's actually not my favorite stage in the game, funnily enough. You know, I heard you in commentary once. Like, I was playing and you were coming in a game. And you're like, he's going to pick the one with the cereal. And I only picked it because I heard it. And I was like, <laughs> I'm going to make sure Jihad is right. <laughs> I got you, man. <laughs> That's what you call Brotherhood I, right there. I usually pick um, Howard State or Jungle Apples. Oh. And this is Tekken 6. If you guys don't know what tune this is, I don't know the name of the song. Wait, is this Electric Fountain? Actually, I no, can't fully hear it, so. It's not. It's not. No, it's not. Okay. Backswing blow, but no counter hit. Oh, there's a counter hit there for Eternal. We're actually fighting in a church. This is quite unholy. Blasphemy right here. Eternal Dragon does have access to his shoulder rage drive, and we know that splats from miles nice. away. Nice, goes for the low, low strength. Yeah, not able to actually use it. Yeah. Oh, and again, we've seen this in the last round. Eternal Dragon getting called out by the Orbital. Beautiful combo there from Justice Holtuna. I feel like Eternal Dragon's losing a bit to how reckless Justice Holtuna plays. Stomp. Perfect. And he's on set point. And he stays where Stomp oh, after that. Oh, yeah. He's a little bit of a pose there. Nice. Now we're back to the good music again. Oh, wow. <laughs> Trade there. That Feng's down forward one on counter is so... The animation's so weird. It's like quite unique. Nice. Gives him the head. He's got his own stomp as well. Oh, I, he's like, I can step back too, bro. Both, both spacing out. Gets him with that Power Rangers move. That's what I like to call it. Not getting full damage, bro. Nice, no break. break. Oh, side step About forward. That's time. dead. time. Yeah. I'm a Watch King special. Shadows to how much King. Ooh, huge counter hit here. And Eternal Dragon's gonna have to face a wall mix up as well. Damage. It's nice to stay on the ground. The low actually not hitting, but getting hit. He actually didn't use CD1 that much. Not as much as I expected. Oh, this, this is it, should yeah. be it. Yes, it is. Just a Soltuna taking it. 2 1. Pretty comfortable in the last two matches, actually. Yeah, yeah. Looking a lot better than the first one. 